Well, hello again. Last video was rather well received, and I'd like to thank everyone for the feedback that I've given. So, here's another one based off a suggestion from user Jared Share from the D&D 5th Edition subreddit. Now, we're going to be delving a bit more into how festivals can affect the town, but before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to hear more videos. So, here we go. The joy of town and seasonal gatherings. Now, based off of the holidays of an area, you can use this to give things to your party. You can use this as a way to get them invested in the history of an area without large amounts of exposition. You see, everyone loves a party, and you just so happened to have it time so that your party arrives in an area just as the townsfolk are getting started with a festival or something. Well, you can't just very well blame them for wanting to get involved. So, it's something that can lighten the mood after months of travel, after travels in the deep wilderness with fights everywhere. It's a chance to settle down, relax, and meet members of a community without forcing everyone to go door to door and store to store. Season of festivals of harvest are great, but they only really work if you're paying attention to the passage of time, which is something I know that a lot of DMs don't really like to focus on, but that's where we're starting on now. As you have your party traveling through the forest, traveling through anywhere, a good thing to do is to subtly mention changing leaves, to subtly mention the fruits in an area. The passage of time, the passage of seasons, maybe mention that it's starting to get colder and that they would need to change into different types of outfits because lots of party members tend to eat, sleep, drink, and do everything in their armor. But if you start mentioning the changes in the weather, then mentally the players will start influencing their characters to deal with these things. So, if you're going to be setting your festival around the harvest, a good way to bring in harvest deities, nature gods, and forest spirits. Have a good idea in your head as to what prominent religions are going to be in the area. Now, you don't need to have or limit it to one specific deity, since harvests and changing of seasons are something that can realistically fall under the purview of any god you can really think of. Gatherings can be about sharing the thanks and joy and kindness of a good nature deity, giving praise and thanks, and sharing with whomever arrives in town. You can also involve passerbys with ceremonies or actual work in gathering and setting things up, introducing kind NPCs such as farmers, shopkeeps, or town elders who move through and amongst groups with joy and wisdom being shared. But just as horror ceremonies can be about joy and celebration, the same people can also be involved in prayers of thanks or offerings to appease some great and powerful, vile, vengeful deity as well. Someone who, are meant, who um, represents nature in the hunt, whom they offer up portions of their harvest as appeasement and protection. These festivals can be more somber events, remembering those lost in the war, or to disease during the years, as well as contemplation and preparation for the long winter. Use every opportunity to tug the heartstrings and the purse strings of the party members by reminding them that these are people who have lives, hopes, and dreams, and that the things that happen in this town are just as important and just as fun as what's going on in the dungeon or in a greater city. All of it in truth, every festival, every event, is something that should be able to go on with or without their heroes. Something that represents that these people will have stories and history that started before and will continue long after your party members are gone. 